exception handling, a mechanism in programming that allows you to gracefully handle unexpected errors, prevent program crashes, and in last Friday's case, 8.5 million Microsoft devices from going down, 4,500 flights canceled, and counting, 7 hours of 911 downtime, and more. Falcon, a cloud native cybersecurity system made by CrowdStrike, was created to protect us from malware, and it did what the malware is protecting us from could ever only dream of doing. It runs on kernel mode, which allows it to do what it needs to do, but also gives it a bunch of access to our computer hardware that typical application softwares do not. Not only that, but it also marked itself as a boost start driver, making it essential for a system startup process, meaning if it doesn't run properly, your system, or Windows operating system in this case, does not start. So there's a lot of risks with softwares like this, which is why typically for a code to be able to run on the kernel mode on Windows machines, they would need a certificate from Windows, specifically the Windows Hardware Quality Lab certification. Normally, drivers with this certificate cannot make changes to its code unless they are recertified. However, CrowdStrike worked around this by using channel files, which are not included in the driver code, but are processed by the driver code. Now, I am not a cybersecurity engineer, but from my research, it seems like these type of files are pretty common practices. They're supposed to contain data about malware signatures and threat patterns, which is why they needed to be updated regularly so that you can have the latest protection. Last Friday though, for whatever reason, this file was invalidly formatted, causing the driver to crash. Suffice to say though, this probably should have been caught by exception handler, this error should have been caught by QA, and they should have been doing gradual rollouts. This is not a small single developer issue, but rather an organizational process issue.